Bonnie, Bonnie was the best person in the world to work with because she was so sincere. Was to always have a smile on your face. She greeted you with a hug every day. Happy to be at work with all her kids. We all called her mama. She was the, the mama of our department. She's been mama since she started. She took care of us each and every day. If we had a question, she found an answer if she didn't have one. She had a plethora of knowledge. She um, had so much advice, gave, uh, gave me great notes and great training. But the one thing that she always did and, and showed through her actions was telling me that she was here for the guys and she really wanted somebody to take her place that loved the guys. And so that's really stuck with me the most. Bonnie made me show grace to people a lot more. She's very soft-hearted and kind. And always very, very, um, you know, conscientious of everything uh, that was going on. So she didn't ever want to hurt anybody's feelings or, or anything like that. And Funny story about mama. I told her she couldn't retire. She did it anyway. Now you got to come back. You can't retire. You're coming back until I retire. I would used to have to threaten Bonnie that I was going to write her up if she didn't take a day off of work, right? She'd just come in all the time. and I'd have to, you know, say, Bonnie, you need to take some time off. And so I'd have to threaten to write her, write her up and, and for her to just to take that time off. But she was always, always getting her job done. You didn't have to ask Bonnie to do things. She was always looking for ways to improve the areas. Miss Bonnie always used to say really Southern things that um, we loved and thought were hilarious. Every time something off happened or anything like that, she would say, Heavenly Day! <laughs> so uh, John and I started saying Heavenly Day even after she left, probably for months. I think the funny story that was always a, a, a joke for us was when she got her table that would raise her computer up and she liked to stand up and work on her computer and we would always joke about how HR would um, have these big medicine balls that they would sit on and they'd be rolling around and kind of doing that as a I guess a health or an exercise so we would always joke about that and about how we were going to get her a medicine ball and when she moved back into the office when COVID hit we would always kid about her being out of scene, out of place. But um, but I think the biggest thing was we were always kidding around with her about this, about that little, that table and that, and the medicine balls. You know, Miss Bonnie was, is a great person. And uh, we always had a good time and joked about different things. So appreciate it, thank you. She brought the, the you know, the, the competency of the job to the, to the workplace. Like she knew how to do all the technical part and she trained herself and learned how to do the things she didn't know. But what made her really special was how she interacted with people, how she uh, cared about people, she listened, and she was very sincere. Uh, we would we would jokingly kind of poke at her, and I'm sure she's already crying now, but we would always talk about, you know, Bonnie's gonna cry, so make sure we have some tissue. But that comes from a big caring heart. And she she loves people. She loved, She always wanted to make sure the men were gonna be taken care of and the women gonna be taken care of here in landscaping when she got ready to retire. Um, Miss Bonnie influenced me by really showing me um, how to take care of getting my paperwork done, um, getting the leave slips done, and knowing, and letting me know what she needed done. I think that's helped me over the, the time I've been here at Landscape. Um, just, to be successful in what I do every day and how to help people and be uh, happy with what you're doing. And uh, she is happy every day on what she did. And I think that was a big influence too, not just me, but I think everybody. And, uh, that was just a great thing that she, that she did every day. It was a smile on her face, no matter what the situation was. I think she carried our department to the next level. If you if you asked Bonnie to do something, she she you didn't have to follow up. She made sure that it was done and it was done right the first time. So she took a lot of pride in her work as well. Something I would like to tell Miss Bonnie is always be yourself. Don't don't ever let anybody change you. Just take care of Mr. Bobby, and he's gonna take care of you.
I love you so much, Miss Bonnie, and thank you for everything that you've done for me and for all the guys out here. And um, congratulations. Um, I'd like to tell you, Miss Bonnie, I hope you enjoy your retirement. Um, you, it's well deserved. I know you're probably you're tearing up right now um, after all the interviews that have been shown to you. But uh, I really hope you enjoy your retirement. Enjoy the, the pleasures of Arkansas. Enjoy your retirement. <laughs> and, and congratulations for being inducted into the Hall of Fame. Well deserved. Bonnie, you are the best. You are the legend. You are a Hall of Fame legend. And I'm excited that you are going into the Hall of Fame uh, to for your status. You, you took us to a whole new level. I had so many people uh, working in the position you did before you, and then you just totally changed the position to such a, a great role of, so, of, of taking our department to the next level and beyond. And so I want to thank you for all your hard work over the years and for how much you meant to me and helping me and all that, and all that we did administratively. And uh, you're a big part of one of the campus winning national championships as the most beautiful campus in America. Thank you, Bonnie.